you given any thought to the vast array of sterling silver? Some was worth more than others. What do you do? Do you keep it? Do you hold on to it? Or do you maybe become more educated about it? Well, lucky for us, we have Jeffrey P. Hess from Old Northeast Jewelers to give us a little insight on the world of sterling silver. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Hess from Old Northeast Jewelers. Today, we want to talk about some antiques. First, I want to talk to you about our book. I'll make it quick. Uh, this is a book that we write. It's available for $35, and it is a compilation of all the articles we write in every Sunday's paper in the Tampa Bay Times. Um, it's uh, maybe a hundred of the different articles that we've written, uh, my wife and myself, and it outlines a bunch of antiquities, cool stuff, rare stuff, everyday stuff, and museum pieces, just about everything. It tells a few stories of some people we met along the way in Tampa and St. Petersburg, and uh, it's kind of cool. If you don't get the Sunday paper, uh, you should get it, uh, even if you don't subscribe. Um, at least get the Sunday paper, because it's a lot of fun. Today we're going to talk about silver. Now this is something we bought at our sister store, Hess Fine Art, over in St. Pete. By the way, we make house calls. We'll visit you in your house, whether you live in Tampa, or Palm Beach, or Jacksonville, or wherever. Uh, we have a traveling crew that goes to houses all over the country, actually, uh, to buy fine and decorative arts and antiques. But today we found this really unusual item we just wanted to talk to you about. This is really, really neat. This is a sterling silver golf trophy that was made in 1861, the Civil War era, in Birmingham, England. It's sterling silver, and the hooves are actual hooves of an animal, and uh, not being a, a dermatologist, I'm assuming this is a uh, cow-like animal. <laughs> I don't know. It's a steer or a, I don't know what it is. It's a big animal, I can tell you that. Anyway, check this out. This is really cool. This is the actual leg and hoof of the animal. The sterling silver is made to look like it's walking on a rocky substance of some kind. This little thing here is who it was presented to and when it was presented in Canada. So Canada, of course, being a part of the British Empire, they imported a lot of silver from England. So it was imported from Birmingham, England, into Canada, and then given as a golf trophy in the late 1860s. The top is sterling. This is sterling. This little piece here. The very bottom is sterling. And of course, this is made out of a hoof. Now, in Scotland, they used everything when it came to animals, and golfing was a big part of the hoof industry. Early golf clubs, which were quite valuable if you find them, by the way, had a hoof as part of the club portion of the golf club. Um, they thought that it gave it some spring and velocity. It's kind of an unusual. We were able to date this because of the hallmarks. If you have any antique silver, we are experts in hallmarks, and the hallmarks on this particular piece show that it was indeed made in England. That's one of the hallmarks. And the city, Birmingham, and then there's a date hallmark, which consists of a letter. And then there is the standard hallmark, which means that it's sterling silver. And then, of course, that's called a lion passant, by the way. And then, of course, there is the sovereign's head. The sovereign's head was used uh, during Georgian times, primarily, and continued to be used um, in early Queen Victoria silver. Now, golf trophies have a lot of value. Any golf trophy, even a minor league uh, a golf trophy have, has value, but golf trophies from major tournaments can bring hundreds of thousands of dollars. We paid $2,000 for these, and they're for sale in our store for $2,500. Not for everybody, but uh, as you can see, it would be a decorating choice. But if you're into sports and you're into wildlife, it would be a very, very cool set of candlesticks. If you have anything really cool in the world of fine and decorative arts, antiques, oil paintings, whatever, give us a call in our sister store, Hess Fine Art, 727-896-0622. I'm Jeffrey Hess.